Good. We are back at Frederick County Animal Control <laughs> and Pet Adoption Center with some adoptable dogs. And our first guest is an eight month old puppy named Charlie. And uh, Charlie has two siblings here. And the wonderful thing about that is that um, that means he's grown up in a pack of dogs. Um, and that is a great way for puppies to learn several things. Number one is bite inhibition, which is a great thing you want all of your dogs to know. And when puppies are allowed to play together past 12 weeks of age, they learn not to bite down hard on each other or the play stops. Your brothers and sisters get mad at you if you hurt them. So uh, that's number one. Number two is they learn a lot of social skills so that if you wanted to take Charlie to the dog park, he would understand not to run up in the face of an adult dog, not to jump on a dog he doesn't know. Um, so it's a really great manners training for puppies to grow up together when possible. Now, the other problem with having puppies together is it means that uh, they still need house training, which at eight months old is very easy to accomplish in about a week, um, but it takes a lot of supervision. Um, whereas when you get a baby tiny puppy, mm. it takes constant supervision and weeks and weeks of uh, training before they can hold their bladder and let you know they need to go outside. He'll be able to learn that right away. But when you have three puppies together that you're trying to raise, there's no way you can house train all three efficiently without a lot of help. Now, Charlie has an additional um, quality that makes him very desirable, and that is he's really a polite puppy. This doesn't have anything to do with growing up with his siblings. It just has to do with what his personality is like. He jumps on people when invited, but not when uninvited. Um, he sits when you ask him to, and um, he is, Randy's gonna try to show you that, and um, he is very attracted to people, so that's a wonderful thing, because um, it makes him very easy to motivate to do things. Good See sit. that, he's such a good boy. So, uh, Charlie is uh, gonna be very easy to motivate and train. He's a lovely, lovely dog. And I didn't even mention, um, but he does have the drawback of being an American Pit Bull Terrier. And uh, as you may already know, the Maryland legislature solved that discriminatory problem in Maryland, so no worries. Um, but it is something to think about if you're gonna adopt a dog with a big head. Some people are scared of them unnecessarily, but you, you have to deal with it. You still have handled. Oh yeah, there still can be landlord issues. Uh, Randy just pointed out a lot of landlords are worried that these dogs are special in some way. And every individual dog is special in their own unique personality and training skills. But there is no guarantee, and you can ask any police dog trainer, you can ask any rabbit hunter, there is no guarantee when you get a German Shepherd that he can be a police dog. There is no guarantee when you get a Beagle that he can hunt rabbits. And there is no guarantee when you get a big-headed dog that he will um, challenge other dogs uh, without reason. Yeah, big sweet 